Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Dark Arc issue number 14. It's a pretty interesting issue, and everything changes with this issue. I know this is not the beginning of an arc necessarily, Dark Arc necessarily, but like things drastically get changed. The, the power shifts dynamically. All right, let's get into this. So this issue is called Fallen. Cullen Bunn is the creator and writer. Juan Doe is the artist. Dave Sharp is on letters. And uh, the logo designer is uh, John J. Hill. Uh, the cover is also by Wando. So check this out. We got uh, Shrey and Nex getting into it with each other, but like, you know, politely as they're captured, hands bound, walking towards apparently being sacrificed or something terrible. And on the way with these new things around them, they see uh, eviscerated angel wings. That's right, their wings have actually been clipped and they're hanging as a warning for any who come to this island. Yeah, I think they uh, should have made a left turn at Albuquerque, personally. So, there's actually, like, halos laying on the ground. So, if these guys... Remember, I, I want to point something out. Like, Nex is like, oh, man, if you still had your powers and your tricks. He's like, I still got my tricks. But, you know, like, fear is important to our survival as being a human. Obviously, if we don't control it, we, we succumb to it and we just freeze or just do something stupid. But fear is actually a good indicator of what you should be wary of. If you remember, when there was just a few angels that came to, what's his face, uh, Shrey on the Ark some time ago, he was terrified. And it was enough that these unicorns who Shrey had made a deal with, when they started calling out to the unicorns, or excuse me, when the unicorns started calling out to the angels, he killed the unicorns. And he did it violently. Uh, call down the lightning. Bring down the thunder. But, yeah, it was bad, dude. It was genuinely really bad. So, angels are no joke. That That's, that's like, you know, you can say, oh, well, then the, you know, of course angels are no joke. Rest on your laurels a little bit for, you know, for a second there, Junior. There, there are many different stories with angels, and it's not all biblical angels according to the gospel of shut up your face, all right? In this book, the only thing that Shrey has ever been terrified of were the angels. Maybe it's because more will come, all right? I don't know, but Shrey wasn't afraid of the mother of all beasts. Not really. He faced her, all right? He faced Nex. He faced... Whatever, man. And he was willing to talk back to a strong degree and give criticism to Satan, the Dark Lord, right? Uh, Shrey is no joke. And yet, he didn't want to mess with the angels. And these things have slain multiple angels. That should tell you something about the power level of these guys. Now, the the real interesting dynamic shift that happens here is that Hali... Uh, his, 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 one of his girls, or was that his wife? I can't remember. Honestly, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, she shows up and she, there are certain things that these monsters are afraid of. We're not entirely sure what it is that they're afraid of yet, but that black cauldron, they were afraid of it. The black cauldron that turned, uh, Khali into a vampire to protect the, to, to save the daughter. So... Yeah, so, so I think that was Shrey's wife. Anyway, whoever it was, it was one of the women in his life. And um, the thing is, it can't just be the vampirism that frightens them because they weren't afraid of Nex, and he's the master of the vampires. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he controls all the vampires. He's the strongest of them all. He's like Dracula, but back in the day. These guys, they weren't afraid of him at all. But they're afraid. But they seem to be afraid of Hali, and the, you know the other people are like, you know, what have you done? Now it looks almost as if she's made some kind of a extra special boom shakalaka thing, where perhaps and this is just speculation on my part. I don't know this. No insider information. I feel like as if maybe she, um, what do you call? It? She may have made a deal with the devil also, and that maybe now she has the power that Shrey once had. Now, she's not going to necessarily know how to use it, but she'll she'll have it if that's the case. That could be a very interesting shift in this comic book. 
Like, oh, crap. At this point, Trey's got to be on his toes all the time now. He can't just rely on, yeah, you know, saying bring down that lightning and all that stuff. No, at this point, he's got to he's got to do those tricks that he was doing before, which which actually does make him technically a lot more dangerous. It's how he tricked Nex. It's how he tricked the Mother of, of Beasts. It's how he wound up tricking all those um, those monsters and ghosts and whatnot, the zombies that, that he'd found to eat the Mother of Monsters. He's been tricking people left and right. He really only did one powerful magical attack at one point, and he breathed underwater. But aside from that, what's he really done? Really? So Shrey is still Shrey. But if his wife's got the power, it's going to change things up a lot. <laughs> it's going to change up a lot. Plus all the crap that she had to put up with and having to uh, protect her kids. Plus her son died. Mm, no. Not looking forward to this. Those guys are in, those monsters are in a lot of trouble. But um, we'll, we'll see what happens when there are numbers on their side. Because again, even angels haven't returned to that island apparently. Halos just scattered all over the ground. We gonna see. Either way, this is definitely intriguing. So let's just I don't know, dude. I I'm I'm really curious as to what's going on. I could speculate on this stuff all day. In the meantime, I'm gonna just let that one drop. <clears throat> Wait until next month when issue number fifteen comes out. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.